Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we are live. Looks like we are live. Give me a second here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Aaron Nico's in the chat. There we go. Everybody clap it up for Aaron Nico. Uh, let me get YouTube rolling here and make sure that this is actually is live. Because last time it wasn't live. It said it was live, but then it ended up not being live. So let me double check and then we're going to get started, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why the page, <laughs> the thumbnail, shows Aerofly instead of Infinite Flight, but that's okay, we'll fix that later. We got two people watching right now. Hold on one second, Rale. There you go, Bluetooth is off, perfect. Everybody is in the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're in Infinite Flight. We've got five people already. Everybody smash that like button if you've seen that video I uploaded. It's on my pan my channel. Peru boy is in the chat. Clap it up. Everybody clap it up. W movement. W movement. We're in a Cessna 172, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about to go from K-A-V-P to K-I-P-T. There we go. And we're going to be on the uh, casual server. Let me make sure I'm on casual server. Anybody can join. Smash it up. <sighs> Wish I could add sound effects to this. It would be absolutely amazing. Uh, training and casual. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anybody can join this. Be respectful and fly with us in the Cessna. We're going to bring back the Cessna. We're going to get golf streams. We're also going to be editing this video afterwards. You guys will see it on the videos page and you guys will have FX sounds to make it even more hype. Let's hop right into it. Casual server. If you want to join, you know what to do. Go to KAVP. Boom. We got everybody here. Oh my goodness. So there will be an edit of this live stream getting uploaded uh so if you want to be in that video join now k a v p i will wait a few minutes we got to set up the flight plan ladies and gentlemen uh but if you want to join and be in the video come on in uh let's do that there we go let's get from k a v p on over i don't really know which uh kind of want to head actually well no we're gonna do k i p t but we're probably gonna make our way back towards like jfk i want to see what it'd be like to have the cessna if they allow us to be with uh you know the big boys uh it is actually way more realistic in a cessna on infinite flight i'm not gonna lie um you do feel a very big difference most people are just in the uh bigger planes which just fly from you know random place to random place but this this is very this is very real so k a v p we're going from and going on over to k i p t which we can make a little, ourselves a little flight plan here it's kind of really direct we'll take off runway uh tw two eight and we're going to head from 28, boom, like that, boom, straight in to KIPT. Boom, just like so. Just like so. Now, let's see what uh, you want to check always what uh, flight level the airport is at. Because with the Cessna, it's a little bit harder. You don't have an ILS system uh, or, you know, a uh, auto land system for the Cessna. So you actually got to pay attention to what... Uh, level flight level or flight level uh what ground level the uh airport is that so we're 529 which means that at this uh waypoint we're probably going to want to be at about 1000 feet uh which really helps us out so we're going to do this set altitude for 1000 there we go that'll help so when i put on our vnav which actually surprisingly this aircraft does have because it's a skyhawk you know nothing but the best remember ladies and gentlemen we are on casual server nobody's uploaded yet but that's okay we may have more people in here courts welcome if you have infinite flight join us we're on casual server right now and all of this series will be on on uh casual server it's 100 days in the cessna uh episode one if you're wondering is on the videos that was not live my hand is back and functioning ladies and gentlemen clap it up there we go. W movement. All right, everybody. Let's get to it. Actually, I need an FX. Yeah, hold up. Can I put that? Hold up. Let me get an FX uh, on uh, sound. Hold up. That'd actually be pretty cool. Hold up. That would be pretty cool if I can do this for you guys. That would be absolutely amazing real quick. Uh, tss, let's see. Let me go to YouTube real quick. I got this. Watch this. We're about to have FX on live, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing all right we got that all set uh we're gonna cruise today this looks like it's only gonna be like a, we'll see what well the terrain there's a lot of terrain around see this is what makes it more in, even realistic is in the cessna like when you're in a uh triple seven you don't gotta worry about the terrain you're up and you're at them and you put your phone down nothing 
No, we're, we're staying in this aircraft. We actually we can't do 2,000 because look at the mountain range. We're going to have to go up towards like 4,000, which is going to be like a big climb. Uh, we got some mountain ranges here. So there's a – hold on. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to – I think we're going to be setting it for 4,000 uh, for today. And uh, vertical speed, we'll work on that once we're up and at them. But uh, – on one second while I get this for you guys. Uh, FX boom uh, and tear sound. Let's see if this is the right one. Actually, I could just do this. Your sound FX sound. Let's see. No, that's not what I want. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Cheering and applause. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, it's going to echo. Hold on. There we go. Okay, we got that. It's not going to play it. Sound clips. Let's see. No? That would have been cool. If you guys know something like that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll have that. Patty Allen's in the chat. Patty, if you want to join us on casual server, says it right there for you guys. All right, let's get it. So I'm going to upload this. There we go. Let's get our oh, whoops, master battery started up. I do like the Cessna, uh, how it actually you know starts. It's very realistic. Uh, there we go. Cessna is way more realistic in infinite flight than the actual, well, 777, I guess. feel a lot. Uh, there we go. Alrons are aligned there we go and our avionics one and two and master standby battery is going to be on as well uh now our it is daytime right now so let me put real time there we go beacon lights going to come on nav lights we will just we could put them on usually they're for night but we'll put them on anyways and uh let's get our mixture in at 100 percent Mission start. You spent, uh, you don't have infinite flight, you spent all your money on Microsoft Flight Sim? Oh my goodness. Alright, well, we got all that going right now. There we go. Perfect. Trim is 30%. I could reduce that a little bit. Oh, actually, you know what? Keep it at 30%. Everybody's inside. Everybody's inside. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get a taxi map. And we're going to be taxiing runway 28, so it's going to be straight ahead uh, that way. And then to the right. Wish we had uh, taxi signs, but that's okay. Flaps will be 10 degrees. There we go. Parking brake off. There we go. Let's hit it. Look at the bumps. Look at that. I do like that. You don't really notice that when you're in the 777, the bumps. But in a Cessna, you feel it. There we go. Quick little flight for you guys. We will have more later on. And uh, we'll probably make our way towards JFK, see if we can see any bigger aircrafts. All right, let's get it. We're going all the way down. Let's make sure we're looking out. Oh, forgot to completely uh, announce that we were taxiing to runway 28. But yeah, we are here, ladies and gentlemen. 405 Echo Romeo. If you guys want to join, anybody's more than welcome to join as long as they are being respectful. Uh, but uh, let's get this runway crossing here. Pretty amazing. The PMDG 737 costs $80. Oh my goodness. Could have invested that. Strobe lights are coming on. We're going to be crossing runway 22.
nobody coming. Perfect. Thank you for smashing that like button, guys. All right, we're just gonna cross right here. Actually, bigger aircraft can land at this airport. That's pretty cool. Probably like an A320. I mean, that's a pretty big runway. It's gonna be pretty cool to see if we uh, run into some, uh, or we pass by some other aircraft. That'd be pretty cool. In the Cessna, see the size difference. Clear of all runways. We will be taking off and landing in cockpit view as well. All right, we're taking off on a 28, departing really kind of straight out. Ladies and gentlemen, don't uh, forget if the mic sounds weird, uh, put L mic in the chat. But can I get a W mic in the chat, please? So I know that the mic is working. Exclamation point, uh, W mic. There we go, we're taking off, nobody coming. It's gonna be interesting because we're gonna fly at around airports that people usually don't fly at. Uh, some people have been in infinite flight and never flown at some airports because they always are in the bigger aircrafts instead of the smaller ones. All right, let's get lined up nicely here. Nice and slow. And here we go. Do 86%. There we go, and rotate, beautiful. Bring that nose down a little bit. There we go, perfect. 4,000 and a degree to climb, beautiful. Watch that speed here. Keep it at 110. There we go. We got it at 110, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to be, uh, it's going to be, how? let's see how long we are until we arrive. E to E, E to E, it's 30 minutes. Should probably get a little bit sooner than that. But uh, we're going to watch out for these uh, mountaintops here. And we should be good. It's straight ahead, so. Turn on LNAV as well. Let LNAV do the work for us. We could fly it by hand, but we're not going to today. This mountain tops aren't actually that high up. We could probably go for 3,000. Uh, we didn't check fuel, though. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to check your fuel. We have 29 minutes of fuel remaining. Or, sorry, let's... Well, actually, let's see. We got an hour of fuel remaining, and it's actually only 30 minutes. Okay, so we're good. But yes, always check your fuel before you take off. Uh, can you get flaps up? Winds are five knots right now. Looking good. Uh, it's a little bit of a headwind. Not too bad. But uh, looks like it's going to be about 28 minutes until we arrive. Everybody, smash that like button. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see how our statistics are doing here. Let's check off the audio here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we can play it. Okay. I <laughs> <laughs> said, yay. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. W movement. W movement. W movement. There we go. All right. So now we got our soundboard. We're back in infinite flight. 
W movement, W movement, W movement, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely amazing. Can we get the, uh, actually, let's just copy this link. I got this. Command C, and then Command V. I'm about to get new sound effects on here. Oh, that's the sound I want. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing live streams every day. Every day, ladies and gentlemen. Every, every, every day. Every day, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be absolutely amazing. <laughs> I wish we could, like, do this better, but... There we go. There we go. We're here. There we go. There we go. Can you make a video on MCDU on Aeroflot? Actually, I have made which uh, aircraft, though. I've made a couple videos. I've done it for the uh, A380, and I've done it for the A320. But welcome. Uh, yeah. All right, we're doing good here. We're over the mountaintop, 3,000 feet. And we're going to pick up the pace just a little bit. Push that engine just a little bit more. Push it to 120. Considering we have a headwind, we're going to push it to 120. Oh, and we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are at four likes. W movement, W movement, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually pretty nice in the Cessna. Real question is, where is everybody at? Online, let's see. Hide airplane. No, oh, no, there's nobody around here. We got one A380 over there at the distance, but can't see him anywhere. Nice little solo flight in the Cessna, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a lot of people joining, so it's going to be amazing. I'm going to try to do this for 100 days. We're going to be the best infinite flight pilot there is landing. Because if you can land and butter a Cessna in infinite flight, in cockpit view, no heads up display. No heads up display. You're amazing. You're amazing, ladies and gentlemen. 23 minutes left. That 23 minutes is going to pass by real quick. Looks like the terrain up there elevates a little bit more, but shouldn't be by much. We should have gone in the opposite direction and actually went to, went to uh, uh, Stewart. I think there's actually aircrafts going into Stewart right now. Oh, no, there's not. Yeah, we're going to go on Stewart to uh, check out LaGuardia and stuff like that. Teterboro. We actually might make our way over to Teterboro tonight. Considering this is 23 minutes long, we're going to have to go... Hmm. Considering this is a 100-day uh, assessment challenge. Uh, we also will have, ladies and gentlemen, Aerofly videos. Don't worry, don't worry. I could already hear you guys. But what about the Aerofly videos? Yes, yes, yes. We will still do be flying on there as well. Uh, let's see. We'd go KIPT to KSEG, then to KZER, then to KABE, Kilo Alpha, Bravo Echo, and then on over to Newark. We really should on Cape. Oh, we already went from to Mount Pocono. That's where we originally flew from. That's a little bit, uh, more elevated over there, but I think we're good. We'll go up to 4,000 just in case. Nineteen knots of headwind, ladies and gentlemen. Are we even moving? Holy cow. We're pushing that engine. It's trying.
how's everybody been? Hopefully everyone has been doing themselves a favor and having the best day they can possibly have every single day. Always be positive and just have the best day you can. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that looks like it's good. Uh, it uh, increases quite a bit there. We did get over the mountains over there, but those are much smaller than the one up ahead. 22 minutes. Wow. That's because of that 19 knot cro uh, headwind. Looks like a nice short flight, right? That takes 19. In a, in a regular, you know, I don't know, an A320, this would have taken like two minutes, five minutes, nothing. And a Cessna, 22 whole minutes. 22 real minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So basically, I fly this route with you guys live, and then I make a video afterwards and uh, edit that video. And when I edit that video, if you guys happen to be in the live stream, you guys also get to be in the video. Uh, so people will give credit to you, moderators. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Really need to work on getting to the bigger airports. Let's see what's going on over there taxiing next to the bigger aircrafts. Got an A380 probably landing. Where's that A380 landing? Hmm, where is he landing? Came from Canada. Did we return on? Oh. There we go. I was gonna say, once you're up in a Cessna, do you keep it landing lights on or do you take them off? I feel like because we're ten, below 10,000, you keep them on. This 19 knots is killing us right now. If we had a tailwind of 19 knots, we would have been there in 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a short flight, too. There we go, we're at 4,000. Perfect. 21 nautical miles until we arrive. With 19 minutes left. Beautiful day, though. We need, like, a formation flight with Cessnas. That'd be really, really cool. Spin recovery. Wow. They actually have the uh, marking here. Opposite rudder. Forward elevator and neutral IS controls.
Seems like we're so close, but yet it's still 16 minutes away. Holy cow. Let's go into Discord and see what everybody's been saying in there. If you guys want to be in the Discord, it's in the description down below. with the butter clips let's see if anybody uploaded any oh, carrots flying in the boeing uh, 737 max I'm gonna have an aerofly video today too That was a butterization of a landing, holy cow. Chills in the uh, Air France 777. Oops, that's loud. Oh my god, he absolutely greased the runway. And let's see Aerofly pictures. Oh yeah, I commented on Kara's photos. Uh, the approaching uh, Skipple with uh, the KLM. 787 that was some those were some w photos as well and we got chills with the absolute major w major 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 w of photos the biggest w of photos there we go w movement oh my god the wing view wow perfect 14 minutes left ladies and gentlemen we are almost there, almost there. See how that, uh, let's see what's up ahead. Got some mountains there, and then it's going to start to descend to a thousand. So we want to make sure that we're not interfering with any of those mountains. Last time I was flying the, uh, for some reason the engine just stopped, literally, while I was taxiing. I think you guys saw that in that other video that I uploaded. And uh, I was like, what just happened? So if that happens, and I wasn't able to turn it back on for a bit, but... We gotta work it again. So if we have to do anything, we know where to go. Right now it's to the left and over there. Land smoothly over there, reset everything, and then take off again. But uh, if we happen to have anything happen over here, we'll be inside there. We always gotta look for places to be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this isn't on top of a mountain top. I don't think it is, but. We may come across those as well. What if we're the first people actually to cross the entire United States in a Cessna? Like, do you know how long that would take? Actually, I think we're going to do that, ladies and gentlemen. That would take a while. It's real time. I mean, this one took realistically the exact amount of time it would take in real life. 22 minutes. So and that's just that little short route. I think it would take me like, I don't even know. At least 13 to get to, like, Denver. Yeah, that would take a while. It looks like we're almost there, though. We got 12 minutes left. Perfect. That headwind is just not letting up. And we're still not at uh, 125. Oh my goodness, chat. This wind is really not letting up. Oh 
Ooh. We got this. We got this. 11 minutes. There we go. It's going to be an interesting... Please tell me that's not the airport right there. No, it's not. Okay, is it? Wait. No, it's in front of us. Off to our left. Okay, good. There we go. Perfect. I got the flight plan set up already for Aerofly 2. Perfect. Simbrief is doing its own thing right now. Come on, work. There we go. W movement. All right. So we are on. It's actually announced now to KIPT. Now it's inbound uh, landing. A runway 27. Straight in. So it's down there somewhere. Looks like it's going to be an easy approach as we are almost on final. Well, actually, we are on final. It's a very long final, though. We won't announce it quite yet. As that's a very extraordinarily long final, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We're going to butter this absolutely, butterize it. Uh, we got 15 knots here. Oh, boy. So let's see what the winds are looking like over here. Uh, looking like it's going to be 8 knots, 250. Okay. So we should expect it to be a slight crosswind, but not too bad. Uh, if we float too much, we will go around... Um, Hopefully, we do not have to go around, though. But if we do, uh, we'll go around and go for left traffic runway 27. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be in the video, just join the casual server uh, and go to the airport that I'm landing at, which is currently Kilo Indio Papa Tra uh, Tango, and uh, you'll be featured in the video, which I will be uploading after the live stream are working on after the live stream not uploading sometimes it takes a bit to edit those videos but i think we did an amazing job last time cessna is quite detailed though the 767 and infinite flight needs to be saved i don't know why they're moving on to trying to do a max or even another well actually i'm glad they're doing another uh general aviation air uh, aircraft because we need a lot more of those, but honestly, that 767 is going to be needing some saving after that. If we can get a Gulfstream, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> I won't stop playing Infinite Flight if they add a Gulfstream. If Aerofly adds it before Infinite Flight, though, then I can <laughs> say goodbye to Infinite Flight, but I just love the Gulfstream. They have the Challenger in this one, the private aircraft, uh, which is pretty good, but it's not enough. It's not enough uh let's see we got the airport right there perfect airport is in sight uh we can report that we are on final runway 27. vnav is we're doing its thing we'll keep 130 on in let's make sure we know where to park is that the ramp on the right there? Looks like it. I need to slow down. Oh, 
looks like I need to slow down even more. There we go, perfect. Imagine a line, just a line of Cessnas behind us. Oh my goodness. Soon, ladies and gentlemen, soon. Let's open up the windows. It's warm in here. I wonder if you can actually do stall training or spin training uh, in Infinite Flight. We may or may not test that <laughs> after we land. That would actually be pretty cool. It says to do opposite rudder forward elevator. So if we're spinning to the left, we got to do to the right. I didn't mean to do that. To the right. And... Uh, <laughs> Maneuver speed is 105. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, after this video, let me know if you guys watch this from start to finish. We do need to watch hours, and we'll be shouting out everybody who does, so... I'll put that in the comment section down below. I'll put uh, the question, uh, did you watch the full video? Comment W down below. Whoever comments W gets a shout out. So, All right, we're, gonna, we're making our way over there. Let's see what it looks like from tower. Yeah, we're pretty far away. They actually did an amazing job on this aircraft, though, I must admit. Aeronautical University. Pretty cool. Alright, so we land. We have to remember the wheels are behind us. Um, whoops, there we go. So the wheels are actually back there. So we're going to have to uh, bring the aircraft back a little bit more than expected. Uh, most people, when they land, I've seen on Infinite Flight, they think the wheels are, you know, directly underneath them. They only uh, bring it back a little bit, but then their perception of where the wheel, the front wheel is, is actually over here. Uh, here, I'll show you guys. So yeah, the front wheel is literally right underneath us, and uh, it's not in front of us like, uh, you know, some aircrafts, but... So we got to keep that in mind as well. Alright, we are landing here. It's a small airport, holy cow. Okay, so we're gonna land three zero, get off to the right, and then make our way on over to the ramp. All right, I've got control here. Perfect. Keep that like that, calibrate that, and there we go. You can speed it up a little bit. We're going to keep practicing this until we, uh, are really really good at it so don't worry we will get those flaps once I slow down
All right, here we go. Good thing about this aircraft is it does go very, very slow. So you can take your time. Um, Really don't even need flaps ten yet. I'm almost there. There we go. Shoot, that's why I said that. Oh, we actually touched the ground. Dang. <laughs> no, nope, we're going around. Too many bouncing. Too much bouncing. There we go. Oh, we can't make left traffic. We have to make right traffic. Going right base. It's actually making for a very interesting go around with that mountain right there. Long landing. I think that was pretty good. It was a little, a little hard, but I think it was pretty good otherwise.
right, let's go off the runway here. Before we play that, don't worry. Thank you guys for smashing the like button. It's actually probably better with the heads up display to practice for uh, at first. We'll work on uh, it without the heads up display after a while. I will be crossing runway. Uh, it's active right now, three zero. So I get our ground speed here. Perfect, seventeen knots. Cessna is actually underrated in Infinite Flight. No, I've never really seen anyone fly it, so we're going to make it popular again. Perfect. Parking brake is set. We are good, ladies and gentlemen. That was an absolute amazing, amazing flight. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up. We are doing great for business. Everything's doing, uh, everything is absolutely amazing. And honestly, let's turn off the, hold on, strobe landing lights. There we go. Engine. Let's get the engine off. There we go. It's actually pretty smooth to be in a uh, Cessna. We'll be making our way on over uh, the United States on this 100-day Cessna uh, challenge. And, uh, yeah, we will ma also make that uh, video for, I guess, the 737 or the 787. Actually, I think we're going to do the 787. Uh, also, we have to do a startup video for the 787 on Aerofly. Make sure you all smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, we're going to go watch that replay real quick. Got two landings in, more XP than most people, but uh, that's because we're in Cessna. But uh, let's get that logbook looking. What's that logbook looking like? There we go. Beautiful A380s right there. All right, let's watch that take off. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful takeoff, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys see my username on Infinite Flight. That's what it is, Captain Morpheus YT or iFlow. Uh, let's watch that landing though. Let's watch that first landing. I think that was back here. No, it's over here. Okay, so let's see what happened. We came in way too slow, 72 knots. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep it up at 80. Also, we put that nose wheel all the way down first. Yep, that's when I thought it was gonna be a nice, yep. And then should have left it right there actually at 55. Yeah, we landed on the front, so we want to always land on those back wheels. Um, when you land on all three, it makes it so that you bounce, so we went around. Uh, but luckily, we corrected ourselves here on this beautiful final. And when we came in, 69 knots instead. Sped it up a little bit. 
64 instead of 55. 66, 67. And watch this flare. When we hit 55, four. Now we're using that speed to slowly bring that. Yeah, a little bit hard still landed on the front wheel, but we want to be landing on those back wheels. So we actually got to flare a lot more than I thought we were. Um, so that's good to know for next time. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Let's screenshot that. Ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, and uh, I will put the Discord in the description down below. DM me if you want to do another flight with me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hold on one second. There we go. Let's get that spin. Perfect. You guys know what to do. Subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.